So I had to confirm if this was correct. Alpha Investment made a video saying Troll and Toad has stopped its buy list. Not only is it correct, it seems that Troll and Toad is buying bulk, Digimon, D&D, &D, Heroclix, One Piece, Pokemon Sealed, Pokemon Singles, even Ward of, World of Warcraft loot cards, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Singled. So I have a screenshot of that, meaning the only card game that they do not seem to be buying is Magic the Gathering and Trone Toad, in case you don't know them. They're one of the OGs. They were one of the original websites along with Card Kingdom. I think they were actually older than Card Kingdom. Channel Fireball and Star City Games that sold Magic cards. Um, to have their buy list disappear is absolutely astonishing. Uh, it's uh, not signs of things to come. And their buy list disappeared for Sealed. Their buy list disappeared for Vintage. Then they are also having a sale on Magic cards. They seem to want to drop from everything that I see. It seems like they want to drop Magic totally. Trone Toad is a huge online vendor, guys. Um, it used to be a lot bigger. They used to have a lot more market share in the past. But, you know, things change. Different companies, influencers, etc. Maybe they were left behind a tiny bit. What I will say here, and I, I want to make this very clear, is this is absolutely a result of Wizards of the Coast milking the secondary market. So in some aspects, Rudy is correct. Um, and another aspect I think is incorrect. Um, I think, I'll be honest, you know, I was watching a Kara TV video about uh, targeting single men. And I was wondering about that, like single lonely men in our society. And that is a problem uh, with social media and so on. Uh, even if you won't admit online, um, there are many single men and they're being targeted by other men like Alpha Investment. Targeted by other females like OnlyFans. You know, I, I, I struggle with the idea of the OnlyFans. Like, I, I have never understood why. Why there's so many OnlyFans, quote, models interested in Magic the Gathering. It's because they have a target demographic of single, lonely men who are willing to give them hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of their hard-earned income. Uh, that is the same I feel about Rudy Chan. How can he sell a Meta Zoo box for $500 a box? It's because, you know, he's targeting single, lonely men. Um, again, it's not going to be a popular opinion. I I would, you know, say that it's interesting to talk about, but do I have any evidence? Do I have any proof? No, I don't have any of that. It's just my gut feeling. Magic for me is now just a fun hobby where I have a lot of sealed product and I will open it slowly and just enjoy my time. I am not going to buy any more Magic products. I'm not going to buy any more Magic collections. It's not because I'm financially unstable or anything like that. In fact, business has been ticking up recently for me. It's because I just don't want to do it anymore. Um, let, me, let me put this uh, in the bluntest way possible. Magic has always been a big part of my life. But you probably want more. You don't want to be single forever. You don't want to not have a family. You don't want to be surrounded with all these boxes. When I look at these boxes, it makes me stressed out. The younger generation does not give a shit about card games in general. They don't. It's the older generation that is 30 to 40 years old that's just coming in making income that is still buying this shit. Okay? Um, the younger generation is not likely to support the card games moving forward. That is my opinion and that is what marketing data shows. Younger people, they want to play Minecraft. They want to play online with their friends. They're not interested in a physical cardboard game where you have to go to a physical location where there are a lot of creepy people there. Simply, they're not. Okay, They rather do things from the convenience of their home. And you can ask anyone with young kids, this is what it is. Okay, That's how they socialize, and that's uh, I don't see that changing. You know, I work in marketing, and one of the things that you know we have to do is we have to study marketing trends. This trend's not going to go away. 
more game stores are going to drop Magic from buy list. More game stores are drop Magic completely. Magic is no longer a profitable. It's no longer a profitable thing to carry. I realized that uh, having owned a game store myself, that Magic was a g major loser. It lost me a lot of money, um, and it just never ever recovers that money. If you have Magic, if you've been investing in it, and you can get out, uh, get out. Um, now you have to do kind of slowly, right, and steadily, and very intelligently get out. I'm not saying sell things to Rudy for ten cents and a dollar. I'm saying just think about it. Uh, for me, um, I have really, I mean, outside of one big Pokemon buy, I have really slowed down buying card collecting. I'm saving up for vacations. The next one will be Taylor Swift, which I saw Lady Gaga over the weekend, uh, the long extended weekend. We had good lobster and dinner. I mean, it's um, live your life. Nobody in the TCG world will tell you. They always want you to buy more TCGs and more TCGs and more grading and more this and more that. Just spend more money, right? The money that you spend as a lonely single male on this is not going to attract more females to you. I, I'm sorry. I mean, I had to, I had to burst your bubble, right? She was watching that Kia TV thing. I was like, yeah, you know what? He's, he's kind of right. There are so many Andrew Tate and so on and the Manosphere, Spear, whatever this stuff is. I don't really, you know, haven't studied it that much. But there's so many people that want to make money from you. Okay? I have never had a single person online be my customer. Even when we live stream, I open all my own products because I don't care shit. I make a decent amount of money that I don't need to sell you things that I don't want. Uh, I'd rather set them on fire because it's less work for me. You know, if I were to sell you a booster pack and open it for you, the time it would take me to send you to boost pack, just even putting a stamp, no tracking, would uh, cost me more money and expected opportunity cost because I'm a patent attorney than just ripping the booster pack for myself and burnt and letting it on fire. That's why I don't need to sell you stuff. That's why I don't need to buy a grading company and sell you grading as the future of this game. That's why I don't need to sell you mystery boxes for $700. There's not a single person online unless I met you in person and we've done the and you're my friend and we've done the deal in person where I've sold you anything. As soon as the COVID hit, I shut down my website. You can go to Wayback Machine. I'm not selling you shit, man. I don't need to. I realize that uh, given what I do for a living, I make far more money doing an hour of that than... shipping or what nodding and live stream i tried to live stream i did the calculations even if my live stream was backyard breaks you know i would barely make more money than i make today anyway bye guys